This is a podcast of 98FM's Dublin Talks. Remember, catch the show live Monday to Friday at 10 a.m. 98FM's Dublin Talks with Adrian Kennedy. 98FM. In the UK at this moment, a debate has started over whether or not it's time to make wolf whistling a hate crime. Okay? So for doing this, um, it's basically incitement to hatred. (whistles) For years, men have done it. They see an attractive woman walking by in a public place and they whistle at them. Some women see it as a compliment. He's giving me a bit of attention. Many women see it as hurtful, misogynistic, and downright disrespectful. But should it become a hate crime? Should men literally be arrested and charged if they whistle at a woman in public or shout a comment from a car? There are calls being made in the UK to outlaw wolf whistling as a hate crime, equating it to racist abuse. Politicians have called for catcalling and wolf whistling to be classed as hate crimes, saying that many women don't feel comfortable walking in public places because of unwanted attention from men. One female politician in Britain demanded that harassment on public transport should be formally logged so women can have greater confidence that their concerns will be taken seriously. And we want to know whether or not it is time to consider doing the same thing here. Do you think that a man... Doing that at a woman is as serious a crime as someone shouting racist abuse. Our telephone number is 67979981. You can text or WhatsApp us on 0877989898. Ashling, you're on 98FM. How are you, Ashling? Not too bad. Ashling, you used to get whistled at a lot when you were younger. Many, 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 many years ago. Probably when I was in my 20s. Right. 42 now, so I'd be lucky if I got... Uh, you know, ask for directions, or you know, it would be a lovely little skip of my beat if I got a wolf whistle. I can tell you, it'd be a great booster. But no, many, many years ago. Okay. And it was, I, like, it was nothing. It was a compliment. It was. That's how you viewed it. Yeah, it was, it was just a nice little compliment. Be, you'd be there thinking, yeah, yeah, I do look good. <laughs> so <laughs> you, 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 you make ca- me feel right. You kind of made it, it, it put a spring in your step, basically. It would definitely. You'd feel ah. Oh, feel beautiful for a few minutes anyway. Okay, (laughs) if you were to be walking through town past a building site today and somebody were to do exactly that, were to whistle at you, would it still put a spring in your step? I'd probably look around and see who would be whistling at. It wouldn't be me, that's for sure. (laughs) It'd be a great compliment. Don't be running yourself down like that. (laughs) It, Uh, it, 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 It would put a string in my step. Okay, the point, about, uh, the point about this is that many people uh, see this as uh, a hurtful, misogynistic and downright respectful, uh, disrespectful thing whistle. to do. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, they're not name-calling, they're just a wolf whistle. It's, it's, it's harmless fun, really. Harmless you know, fun? It's, it's harmless fun, that's all it is. You just walk on ahead, give them a smile. And, and what, Do you think people who complain about it are snowflakes? Uh, possibly, possibly. I, you know, sorry, I'm a dog groomer here. I <laughs> just have dog jumped up on my lap. <laughs> sorry, I, 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 I've never actually spoken to somebody on this program who's grooming a dog while they're talking to me. But anyway, well, I, I took I actually took her off the table and she jumped up. <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, so that, no, it's, I think people who would be offended um, are either just oh god, uh, just maybe just get a life really and just be a bit more relaxed and enjoy life and don't be so you know, uptight, enjoy life a bit more, you know, um, it's just a harmless whistle, that's all. It's just a harmless and whistle. Some, and look at it as uh, you're after brightening up their day, you know, that's the way to look at it. Okay. You know, but, but do me a favour, Ashing. Stay on the line yeah. there for one second, if you can, please. Six seven nine seven ninety eight one is our telephone number. You can text or WhatsApp us on zero eight seven seven ninety eight ninety eight ninety eight. Um, is doing something like this as you walk along the street a harmless bit of fun, or is it really offensive and misogynistic? Call me right now. Six seven nine seven ninety eight one. Amy, should it be illegal to wolf whistle? Not at all. Not at all. No, I agree with your last um, caller there. Just a bit of harmless fun. And I think if girls could whistle a bit better, we'd probably do it just as much. Oh, right. Okay. So it's all down to your lack of skill to whistle. Uh, Not necessarily, (laughs) but it's definitely definitely just a bit of fun. I mean, if you're walking past the building site and not one of them whistles at you, you're kind of walking back around to see if 
you get one. Oh, really? Oh, so if you walked past a building site with a load of lads on it and you didn't get um, whistled at once, you'd be disappointed, would you? Kind of, yeah. It's kind of the, the norm when you're walking past. It makes you feel a bit good about yourself. If you're in the house on your own and you're getting dressed up for the night out and you've no one to tell you you look nice and you're walking down the street and someone whistles at you. That puts kind of a... makes you feel a bit better. Yeah. Now, it, it, harm it has been described as hurtful, misogynistic, and downright disrespectful. But listening to what you're saying, it's almost respectful. It's a compliment. No, it's only my opinion. I would never be hurt or felt disrespected. I mean, if someone shouted something lewd and vulgar, I'd be a bit offended. Okay, but if but it's, it's just... A whistle, if, but if a whistle it, is... It's only a whistle. Okay, so there you are. You're heading on your night out. You've got all dolled up. You look great. And somebody from a building site goes... You'd be delighted with yourself. Yeah, why not? Who wouldn't be? Who doesn't want to feel good about themselves? And that would make you feel good about yourself? Yeah. You d it's only like, it takes two seconds, you'll smile and you'll walk on and you'll forget about it. Okay, like I said, there's been a call uh, for it to be outlawed, uh, describing it as a, a hate crime. Do you think that's way over the top? Yeah, there's definitely more pressing issues, I think, than wolf whistling. What about people who find it intimidating, who, d who don't like being whistled at? I suppose I can understand that, but I wouldn't feel intimidated by it. You certainly wouldn't I... want somebody arrested for doing it. No, not at all. All right, stay there for a second. 6797981 uh, is our telephone number. Patricia, you think it's sad that this is what the world is coming to? Yeah, but maybe it's an age thing. It's interesting that all the people who are calling in are on the same mindset where it's like, just kind of get over yourself. It's... It's lovely to be recognised, and yeah, maybe it's a bit kind of chauvinistic or whatever they want to say, but uh, still makes me feel good. Puts a smile on my face. Does and it? I'm well past it. <laughs> and, yeah. And has it happened of late? Uh, it did, but I had big sunglasses on. <laughs> 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 uh, and it was a wolf whistle out of a van, um, and it made me smile. It definitely made me smile um you didn't find didn't it in, in one, any way intimidating or um you know scary or disrespectful no, no um no I, and to be honest it's i mean it may be a generational thing because obviously nowadays um younger people are a lot more on the alert for anything that would be considered inappropriate or politically incorrect or whatever but mm. i i don't know i just i think there's actual, there's real, you know, harassment crimes out there towards women that are real. Um, I know, but one, one of the arguments is, is that we, we need to uh, deal with this in terms of, uh, you know, the whole gamut of, of problems and discrimination against women and harassment against women. And this is just one small part of that. Uh, it, that's exactly what it is. It's a small thing. It's it's not a major, you know. I mean, if I feel intimidated by um, by somebody or something, um, I've got the option of either speaking up or removing myself from the situation. But that's if I feel real intimidation. Um, if it's you know, it seems that nowadays I was just talking recently to a friend of mine and and. There's so little interaction nowadays. Everybody is so PC and terrified of of doing anything. It's kind of taken away a bit of a bit of that kind of um, freedom or fun. Fun, yeah. You and know, and that's all you, know, you see it as. So we're basically we're risking uh, with with the way political correctness has gone. We're risking getting rid of the fun out of life. I think that, the, like most things in life, there's always a pendulum swing and it's got, you know, it was too far one way, now it's going to go too far the other way where people are terrified to even look you in the eye. If that I, 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 I do worry, that. yeah, that we're, we're getting to a stage that a man will be terrified even to try and chat a woman up. Or, oh, God, yeah. no, absolutely. I really, genuinely, I, I do. I, I mean, I just, I think we can be a little bit too overly protective of of right and wrong and and it removes the individual's right to stand up and say i'm not comfortable with this or i don't like it if you continue to hassle me then yeah that's a problem mm. but, but a one-off you know, 
a, a one off as you're, as you're walking yeah. along the street and somebody whistles at you, you can't see what the problem is here. Yeah, I mean, does that mean that somebody can't smile at me or that's going to be construed as being offensive or intimidating? Or, I don't know. I just, I'd be really interested because this is just me personally. Mm. So I'd be interested if any of your callers actually do feel like, has it made them feel? Well, that, uh, so would I. Would you believe, uh, Patricia, so far... Every single woman who has called our switch doesn't have a problem with it. So I wonder who are these yeah. women that do have a problem with it. If you it's, are somebody exactly. who yes, if you are somebody who does not like a wolf whistle, I'd love to hear from you. Please pick up the phone and call us on six seven nine seven ninety eight one because well, so far that woman doesn't exist. So you you would wonder why there would be a but need. Maybe she's intimidated and she doesn't want to phone in. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I'd be, I'd be very nice to her. Um, please pick up the phone and call me if, if it bothers you. Stay there for a second, Patricia. 6797981 is our telephone number. You can text or WhatsApp the programme 0877 98 98 98. So you're a lady, you're walking through the streets of Dublin. There's a lot of building going on as we speak all around the city. Uh, building sites crammed with uh, men and a few women as well. And one of the blokes or maybe even one of the women, uh, does this. Is that going to um, upset you, intimidate you? Do you think it's misogynistic? I want to find out who would actually object to this. Who would like to see it being made illegal? It is something that has been considered in, uh, in the UK. Um, they want it classed as a hate crime. Now, as somebody said a moment ago, um, how can a whistle of admiration be a hate crime? Six seven nine seven ninety eight one is our telephone number. Martin, you're on ninety eight FM. How are you, Martin? On Adrian. How are you? What did you want to say on this? Well, I I work on building sites there in Dublin, and uh, I I whistle at women all the time. Like, and they 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 love it. Like, you know what I mean? Have they you ever whistle, like? Have you? you going? Have you ever gotten somebody uh, say to you, I don't want you to do that? Uh, I got one woman one day, she, one week, girl, all right, she was giving eight, you know. Um, I was saying, geez, I was only messing with you, you know. But uh, I think she was only more of a kind of, uh, um, like, uh, what would you call it? Like she was giving eight because she wanted the attention, do you know what I mean? What, she was giving out because she didn't whistle? No, because I did whistle at her like she was giving eight, but she she just could have kept going, you know what I mean? So I was I was after whistling at her, she stopped and giving eight, who is that and all, but it was just the attention. She, she loved it like, you know what I mean? But she mustn't have loved it if she told you not to do it. She, she just, she, she said, who done that? And I said, I, I whistled there, you know what I mean? It was me. She wasn't too happy, like, but I think she just stopped for the attention, do you know what I mean? Oh, she stopped, me? she stopped to give out just so that she could get more attention. That that's all it was like. Hmm. Okay, you so know? Do, do you think it's ridiculous to be talking about making it illegal to wolf whistle? Ah, uh, that that stupid carry on eating all together. I mean, you're only telling a woman she's 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 good looking. You know what I mean? Boost the confidence a bit, like. Well, okay, stay there for one second. Um, six seven nine seven ninety eight one is our telephone number. Jen, you're on ninety eight FM. Hi, you, Jen. Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. Uh, you good, believe good. that if a woman needs a wolf whistle to make her feel good, that's pretty sad. It is pretty sad. Like, I mean, if if men think that they should whistle at women, and women think it's great to make themselves feel good, why can't we just smile? Smile goes a long way. Yeah, okay, but you can't see a smile from the scaffolding of a building site. Yeah, well, I suppose. But, I mean, you could be whistling at, you know, a young person who generally could look a bit older which a lot, of, a lot of kids do these days. Like a 14-year-old, she could look 17, 18. Mm. You know, and it just, like, I don't, I don't, like, I'm not prudish whatsoever. I'm quite young, but I just don't feel the need that people need to intrude in your life by a whistle. And is that what it is, intruding in your life? Yeah, like, you could be walking along, minding your own business, and then someone whistles, and it's just like, shut up. <laughs> you and know, mind your own business. But is it not, I mean, you've heard uh, the other ladies and uh, the vast majority of our calls saying, yeah. no, get over yourself. It's, it, it puts a spring in your step. Nah, I don't, need a, I don't need a man to whistle at me for a spring in my step. There are plenty of other things in the world. Well, now there you go, Amy. Doesn't need a man to put a spring, a man whistling to put a spring in her step. 
You don't need it, but it still it doesn't take away from the fact that it makes you feel good. You have a million people tell you you feel good. And then it's, it's even the same as someone, you're walking down the street and someone beeps at you and it, you turn around and it's a bunch of lads just waving. Or if you're walking down O'Connor Street and someone says, ah, how are you, love? Like, you think it's, you, li- you like it? Yeah, it's, it's, I don't dislike it. I don't absolutely love it. I don't need it in my day, but it's only a bit of crack at the end of the day. It might, it might be, it might be harmless, but... It is harmless. Yeah, like it might be harmless, but that's not to say that, you know, everybody welcomes it. Like, I would much rather walk down the street and have a young guy go, hi, how are you? Just polite, nice, not, you know... So you, so you think that, it, it, that, the, that the whistle makes it a sexual thing, do you? Yeah. Oh, of course, yeah. Amy, do you see it that way, that the no. whistle makes it a sexual thing? No, no, no. I think it's... Just oh, 100% does. I mean, a man is, look, is, is probably not even looking at your face, in fairness. No, he well, may he may not be. Uh, you know uh, I mean? like, uh, and there's obviously something about you that has caught you, caught his eye if she if he whistles at you. Um, yeah, and he's definitely not looking into your eyes when that's happening. No, so well to be fair, we had a we had a guy come in and work who was exceptionally good looking the other day. Three of us were at the room, and we didn't whistle, and we weren't trying to hide the fact. But like, are you, you going to give out to us for doing that now? So you weren't you weren't hiding the fact that you were drooling over him. No, absolutely not. Yeah, you see, so, uh, somehow it's okay for women to do that, but it's not okay for men to do that. If if something like that were to happen in our workplace, where a stunningly gorgeous looking yeah, woman you'd be walked up in, on it straight away. Yeah, you would. You absolutely would. But in in in, in the case of of you with this good looking fella in the in your off in your work, nobody batted an eyelid, and I'm sure he didn't. No, like he definitely knew. They know there's three of us, and we we're straight away. And it wasn't just myself and other girls. There was other guys involved as well, looking at this particular person and straight away looking at him, looking at what he was doing. And someone straight away was onto his Facebook trying to find out and show us the photos. Like, you know, it's, it's only a bit of fantasy. And I have to say, it is... It, oh, sorry, I'm losing you there, Amy. Not yet, it's only natural. It's, it, it, okay, what about that, Jen? That it's only natural to look at other, the opposite sex or depending on your persuasion, the same sex, and find somebody very sexually attractive. What is wrong with that? Oh, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Like, I, I just wouldn't, you know, in any circumstance, uh, like, especially not in work, but if someone was good looking, you know, everyone checks each other out. Like, I, I'm not saying I'm far from, you know, an angel, and I'm I'm not prudish, and I love a good dirty joke, but I just don't feel the need to whistle at somebody across the street. You know what I mean? There's just no need. Mm. All right, stay there for a second. Six seven nine seven ninety eight one is our telephone number. You can text or WhatsApp us on O eight seven seven ninety eight ninety eight ninety eight. Um, are you somebody who doesn't like wolf whistling? Should it be made illegal? And that's what they're talking about doing in Britain. Now, I'm not saying we're Britain, but uh, they are looking at making it a hate crime. Is that ridiculous? Bernie, you're on 98FM. How are you, Bernie? I'm great, Adrian. Thank you. Bernie, um, is it I'm... ridiculous to consider banning wolf whistling? Yes, my day would be ruined. Oh, sorry, I can't <laughs> hear you, Bernie. Your, your phone's very low. And my day would be ruined. <laughs> your day would be ruined? Yes, I walk down the Docklands and I pass by the building sites all the time. Yeah. And I always get whistled at and it's great. For a woman of my age, it's great. For no what? Oh, so this is specific to your age, is it? No, well, it's just nice, you know, and to think at 60 years of age, men still whistle at me is good. Oh, really? 60 years of age and, and you, you get whistled at and that pu- that puts a smile on your face? Yeah. Now, isn't that... Well, what's wrong with that, Jen? No, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, for for younger people, I mean, it's a little bit iffy because you just don't know what age they are. I'm not like, you know... Okay, so, so a, guy in a, bu- a guy in a building site could be whistling at a 14-year-old. Possibly, because, I mean, nowadays, like, when I was 14, I looked 14, and nowadays, I just don't look 14. Yes, I agree with you. Um, but for uh, for Bernie here, who's 60, I mean, you did say that it's a little bit sad if a woman likes to get a wolf whistle. Well, I mean, the, 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 no, the people, like, the girl that was on earlier on, she said that, you know, when there's nobody around to tell you you look nice, and you get a, a wolf whistle... You should have your own your own inner confidence to, to do that. What, to be able to look in the mirror and say, I look grand? 
Yeah, and not need a wolf whistle. Like, if you need that extra, but like some stranger or some dirty outlet or whatever, then that's just sad. Mm. Well, each, each for their own. Like, you know, Bernie obviously loves it. I love the good whistle, but she's confident in herself now. Now, Bernie, do you get a whistle every day? Every day. Every Sometimes. day. I passed the building site about three times a day, so uh, I probably get it three times a day as a boy. <laughs> and I, I'm very happy in the relationship. I'm very happy. And he tells me I'm okay, so he's happy with me. But I still love it. And when I was a kid, when we were growing up, we always got a girl to always got a girl my building site. I know, but what, what a lot of people say is that, you know, it's an old-fashioned... Mm. Um, you know, misogynistic thing to do to whistle at a woman. Oh, stop, will you? <laughs> For God's sake. And even 14-year-olds today, they don't behave like the 14-year-olds were years ago. No, well, that's true. Um, no. So there you are. I'm, I'm just imagining this, this, this picture over the last couple of weeks with the lovely weather and all that, and you're walking down the docklands towards work, and you get whistled at, and you're delighted with yourself. I wave back and smile at them. Do and you? they're up. They're up. We'll stay, oh, we'll stay there for a second. Helena, you're on 98 FM. How, oh, Helena, how are you, Helena? I am grand, thank you very much. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Now, it says on my screen here you're 44. Yes. Is that relevant to this conversation? Well, ordinarily, yes, because it's normally younger kind of dolly birds that would get a wolf whistle. Right. So I'm a bit like, Old and haggard and steamy trackies and everything else. Yeah. And I'd love someone to wolf whistle at me. You'd I'd love take it as somebody a compliment. to. Yeah. And now you've heard Bernie. Bernie, you should go down to where Bernie works. She gets whistled <laughs> at every day. <laughs> I know. I was just thinking there, where is she? I'm going down there. That'll make me feel great. <laughs> So John Rogers is key. So John Rogers is key. John Rogers is key. Right, hold on. I am getting in a taxi <laughs> right now. <laughs> Hold the line there. Hey, <laughs> I can't whistle. <laughs> Taxi! Uh, okay. All you have to right. do is wave back. So, <laughs> <laughs> so John Rogerson's Key, ladies, is the place to get a whistle if that's if that's your cup of, uh, your cup of tea. No, I, I, I don't find it misogynistic or anything. I, I think it's a compliment. There's a big difference between that and coming out with a comment like, Oh, you know, well, look at the boobs on her. Yeah. But in a more vulgar comment, or great ass, or something like that. Whereas a wh whistle. But it kind of says all of that, doesn't it? Um. And it doesn't. It doesn't. Then. It doesn't. Oh, doesn't that, doesn't that, uh, Birdie? I don't think it does. No. Doesn't that? No, I think. It so what does. do no. you think? Oh, what do you think? The what do you think <laughs> the lads and Sir John Rogerson's key are saying to you, Bernie, <laughs> as you as you walk past? They don't say that, and they just whistle. Yeah, but what, what do you think the whistle means? I, I She's think, gorgeous. Yeah, I think it just means they like what they say. End of story. You know? That's lovely when you're 60, isn't that great? Yeah. It's lovely if you're 44 as well. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had one. I'm, go I'm telling you. John Rogers from Ski, I'm going down there tomorrow. <laughs> Loads of building sites down there. There is. There's millions. Walk up and down. You're bound to get a whistle. <laughs> Oh, stay there for a second. Let me just bring in uh, one or two more calls. Liz, you're on 98 FM. How are you, Liz? Hi, Ada. Some people, um, and I, I'm not in any way uh, belittling their opinion, some people find this very offensive, find it very intimidating and all of that. Now, you can hear quite clearly with Bernie and Helena, it wouldn't bother them. It doesn't bother Bernie. She loves it. Um, what's your opinion on this? I, just, I was listening to your call again. It was just the comment you made about her intruding on your life and how... Well, it kind of is intruding on your no, life. it was that and how she said, like, she'd, like, she'd prefer a guy if she was walking down the street to say, hi, how are you? Most wolf whistles, I'm not saying all, would come from building sites because guys are high up. They get to see who's coming along. Wherever. They're hardly going to run off that site to say hello to you. It's a wolf whistle. It's not, it's not that derogatory. Like, seriously, I agree with the other two callers. Like, it's a pick-me-up, you know? You're walking down the street and somebody will for us that day. I say, nice one, thanks very much. You see, I, I just wonder, um, is it intimidating for, for some uh, women? Like, I'm about to talk to somebody here, I think, how, like, who finds it humiliating. Oh, sorry, that person's not answering for some reason. Um, I just don't... If, if you can I answer your phone, that person who texted like in... I don't like or feel humiliated, but I don't understand the intimidation of a, of a whistle. 
I don't understand how you can be intimidated by this. Well, well, let, me, unless, let, me, let me read out to... Unless somebody's whistling behind you and running after you to try and grab you. That, it's not intimidating. Like, I just don't see it. Well, all. stay there for one second because I want to read uh, well t- two messages. Um, Adrian, I hope my wife's not listening to your show as I work on the sites on Sir John Rogerson's key. <laughs> And then, um, just listening to your show, and I'd like to say that personally, I really don't like like wolf whistling. I understand some women do like it, but I vividly remember being 16 years old and having to pass two building sites on the way to work every day. And I would be so nervous walking past. If one person whistles at you, everybody else looks uh, towards you. And I was not the type of person at that age who enjoyed that attention. Personally, I found it humiliating and didn't uh, appreciate attention being drawn uh, to me, uh, says that message. And um, as a 16-year-old, whistles or men and boys makes me feel vulnerable, especially if I'm on my own. Okay, this is a 16-year-old sending this message, especially if I'm on my own. A few times I've been shouted at by people in cars and even on the bus. The other day I was with four friends and as we were leaving, two boys said my friend wants to hang to hang you all. I don't really understand what that means, but anyway. Um, and one last message. I am a man and I'm afraid to do anything with a woman. Uh, I've had chances, but then I think... What about after? What about uh, they could say no? Um, got to the point that I just think it's not worth it anymore. And this is the point I was making earlier on, that are we becoming so safe that we risk men even being afraid to try and chat up a woman or ask her out? Um And one last message, making wolf whistling illegal is pure PC gone mad, though I myself can't whistle to save my life. Neither can I, so there's no fear. Um, I'm afraid to say, uh, Bernie, there's no fear of you walking past me and me whistling at you because I can't whistle to save my life. So. All right, there's enough of them down here. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good right, day, I Bernie. I have to go back to work. Good bye luck. Bye. 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 There you go. That's Bernie. She loves it. This is 98 FM's Dublin Talks. This is a podcast of 98 FM's Dublin Talks. Remember, catch the show live Monday to Friday at 10 a.m. 98 FM's Dublin Talks with Adrian Kennedy. 98 FM.